This is a brief overview of oil and gas rotary drilling in less than 2 minutes. In rotary drilling, the drill bit has to be rotated and pushed against the formation. The force required for the bit cutters to engage the formation is obtained from the weight of the steel pipes, which are called the drill string. The torque and rotation is applied either by use of rotary table as shown here, or top drive, and with assistance of downhole motor in some applications. A system consists of a large winch called a draw work with a set of pulleys is used to lift and lower the drill string and control the applied weight. In addition, we need drilling fluids and circulation systems to suspend, carry and remove the cuttings. The drilling fluid, which is also called mud, is prepared in the mud tanks and pumped by the mud pumps to the drill bit. It travels through pipes and hoses to the swivel which allows the drill string to be rotated while the mud is pumped through it. The mud is pumped through the drill bit with high pressure and returned to the surface carrying the cuttings through the annulus. The cuttings are separated and removed by solid control equipment and the mud is pumped again in the circulation system. It's worth mentioning that the mud also helps to stabilize the well bore, cool and lubricate the bit and drill string, provide information about the well bore, and moreover, it's the primary barrier that prevents blowout. Of course, this is just a simplified explanation of the process, but in reality, it is way more complicated. If you like this video, please follow and subscribe as we will discuss more about the details in the next videos.